hello, I'm player Apox, I play on the server Limbo World, and this is my first explanation video on any hardware, and I'm going to write something about these solar neutron activators. As you can see, I have two reactors from Mechanism, nice little fusion reactors, and these need tritium and deuterium to work. Um, one of the well, blocks you need for that is the solar neutron activator to change lithium into tritium. Lithium is obtained by putting brine in a solar evaporation tower like this one. And the brine will be well, converted to lithium in here. Uh, you can't see it right now because it's well converting everything it's, uh, it's getting. When you have the lithium, you can put the lithium into these solar neutron activators and they will transfer, convert to tritium. I had a little mistake, I made a little mistake and I put the tritium back into the activators. So it is now here in the source slot. Uh, that's not very useful because I have no idea how to get that out. And well, that's nasty. I need to make seven new solar neutron activators well actually i already did but i just wanted you to show to see how to show you that so i made a little factory to do that on the first floor traveling there quickly the idea behind this all is i have my source material which is biomass well in this case carrots I will use a crushing factory to crush these to biofuel. Here I will make from biofuel and other um, materials. I will make a substrate and, well, not that. Where are we? Where are we? And ethylene. Ethylene and substrate are in the next step used to make the HPD pellets. But before I can do that, I need to liquefy the ethylene that is coming out here using a condensator. And I can use here the liquid version of ethylene and the substrate, which will make the HPDE pellet. First machine, the crushing factory. You can see here my uh, biomatter, in this case the carrots. On the right side, the input, this is for the items config, and on the left side, the output, power is coming from down there. The next machine, uh, hydrogen water. On the back side, you see a reservoir, water coming in. I have down there an electrolytic separator, which makes hydrogen and oxygen. I'm using the hydrogen here on the left side. So. When we go to the side config, on the left side, input for items, but it is gas. Input gas on the left side. Items on the right side. Let's check that as well. Items input on the right side. Top side is output for items. Once again, output. The front is output for my gas, which I concentrate here. So there we go, the gases output. And the machine is waiting for a redstone signal. Here, condensating, I will get the ethylene here, liquid ethylene there as soon as it's on. Here, input the liquid ethylene that comes from the condensator. The oxygen that comes from here, the electrolytic separator. Config for gases, top part out, right side, gas input. Uh, not using that on the right side, I'm using it on the back, but still. On the back, gas input. Items, left output, front input, left output, front input. And the fluids on the right side, 
coming in fluid from the condensator. So part by part, first one, please make me some biofuel. There we go. So hydrogen, water, biofuel work. Here it's making the substrates and ethylene. It is moving the ethylene here to the condensator. Here you have it. And here we get the substrates, but well, it's not full yet. It's in here. Here you see there it puts the substrates. So that's working nicely. The condensator, I need ethylene to be converted, so I'm going to enable that as well. And you will see this drop down, generate some liquids here, but it's pumped out really fast to the next machine. Here we go. So. The liquid ethylene, the oxygen, the substrate, we have everything. Let's go work and we see the pellets, which are then outputted here to the cache. Alrighty, now to make my solar neutron activator, I need some of these pellets and I put it in an enriching factory or enriching machine. All the machines that I use, I will upgrade these as far as I can, at least for energy. But I'm going to upgrade this using uh, well, using the speed upgrades. So I go to the interface, upgrades, and I just shift click this one. It will put everything in here, like this. And it will put these uh, upgrades um, to an active state. You see here the amount, three, four, it's going faster every time. I put these in. And it's working and it will be going faster and faster until all the upgrades are there and I get my sheets. There we go. I have my sheets. The solar neutron activator. I put in the sheets and I can make my activator. Well, that's it for now. Uh, if there are any questions about rotary craft, mechanism, pneumatic craft, you put them on the forum. Um, well, I'll try to make a video of that. Bye-bye.